Nah, this is crazy, bro. Am I? Did this go over my head, or has Brody always had the answer? I had no idea Brody had the answer. But what I'm talking about is actually OJ Simpson passed away. It was announced on Thursday, so it's today. By his family that he actually passed away from Yancer, and it's I'm, it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird feeling that I do have because there are people that at the end of the day are gonna look at this and they're gonna be like, oh well, he I mean he committed a crime, he committed a murder. This is this is his his comeuppance was that he would die of an illness that you know it takes your life slowly. And uh, to be honest, first of all, I don't wish cancer on anybody, but I just again with legacy, I forgot who it was I was talking about where I was like, man. They will never get to, you know, truly uh, their legacy, the, the way they went out and the timing that they went out. It sucks to have to go out with your name surrounded with controversy in a way that you can never defend yourself again. Now, there are going to be people that celebrate OJ passing. There are going to be people that use this and, and fuel their conspiracy theories about OJ. Because if you don't know, OJ went to trial for the murder of um, mm, Nicole Simpson and Ron Goldman. So if you never heard the phrase, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. That comes from this case where, although they did have a lot of evidence, he didn't, he couldn't fit the gloves that was, that was um, apparently was used to commit the crimes. So that way, so therefore, he was like, because I can't fit the glove, there's no way that I did it. And it held up in court and he actually did get acquitted. So, you know, he beat the case. Some will say that there's um, a lot of suspicion to it all. But, you know, the man passed, bro. Please. Have some respect. But see, the thing about it is now I look at things retrospectively. And obviously, hindsight is twenty twenty. It makes sense now why man was always, you know, living his best life after, um, like when he made his resurfacing on, uh, Instagram and, and Twitter and all that type of stuff. I feel like he might've known then that he was not going to make it. I don't know if he announced it publicly that he had it because I don't follow OJ Simpson on social media. I didn't follow OJ Simpson like that. That was really more my parents time, grandparents time, but in knowing that he passed this way. It just kind of makes me sad because, again, I'm being empathetic, putting myself in his shoes. To have your life to, to have your life be drowned in controversy after you were one time a star and you kind of fell from grace. Um, and then to pass under those circumstances where he was trying to not necessarily like restore his image. Well, I, I could say yeah, but. He was just trying to live his best life before it was over with. That's ultimately what it came down to. Or, you know, that's how I look at it. But I don't know, man. When it comes to OJ, it's just such a strange thing. Like, he's been clowned about. They made fun of him. They kind of like, like, he literally was out of the spotlight for years. And even recently, they tried to get him on a heist, some type of heist thing. Where, let me see. Oh, trophy heist. That's what it was. So look, damn, two hours ago. Wait, he was found. Wow. So, like, even look at these highlights, bro. He's not here to defend himself. OJ was found guilty of robbery and kidnapping charges exactly 13 years after being acquitted for murder. And then the small one is this, which should be the real, really what it's about. We should be trying to celebrate his life because life is precious. And, you know, people, are, they're kind of constructing the narrative however they see fit. CNN has it one way. Apparently, this is People Magazine. They have it another way. So, you know, what are you going to do? One thing I learned from this, because everything has a lesson. One thing I learned from this was 
to try to make sure you do things with your legacy in mind ahead of time. You don't want to be that guy who had a bunch of reckless fun and did this and did that. Legacy is in the garbage. And then you're playing catch up as an old person. When you do, when you've done things to certain people that they'll never forget as a youngin. There's a lot of youngins that terrorize these streets and they actually are out here, you know, running up bodies and doing the most. And these are really the people that I'm talking to where it's like, fam, you need to learn from your elders. Because then you'll pay way more attention to your legacy. And I think nothing is more important than legacy and the seed, bro. The seed is everything, so you got to protect it. Whoa. See, now you got the other side. So obviously, uh, OJ Simpson's attorney gives a statement saying that he was shocked and surprised to hear of his death. Uh, at the relatively young age of 60, 76. All right, bro. That's not that's not young, bro. I know you said relatively young, but come on. I expect our names will be forever linked uh, together in some way. He continued adding, may he rest in peace. Man, bro. Both of them brothers died as well. All right. Uh, the Los Angeles. Okay, so now I'm about to read... Simpson's death is a reminder of the system failing bat battered women. So uh, Gloria Allred, the star Los Angeles attorney who represented Nicole Brown Simpson's family during the OJ Simpson's cri uh, criminal trial, said the former football player star's death is a reminder of the si justice system failing battered women and allowing celebrity men to avoid true justice. Well, it's funny that she says that because here's the thing about celebrity men and regular women. Regular women every single day, the minute that they get caught doing something with a celebrity guy, the first thing they do is sue for money and try to make sure that they could take the, 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 um, they want to try to preserve their innocence and preserve their character while doing dirt behind the scenes. That's just how girls are. So I think it's pretty rich for her to say that while a bunch of, there are a bunch of women that have gotten a lot of men of status locked up in jail. And then it was false. The The accusations were false, but the dude still went to jail for years. And then there were, nothing happened to the girl. Just like, oh, I'm sorry. Come on now. It's sick. But, you know, obviously, you can't tell somebody how to react. You can't tell a, a victim how to react or how to be a victim. Because when you have a victim mentality, you're operating almost solely on impulse. So, you can't be mad at her, bro. The point of now, now me, I'm just confused as to where she's going with this. When it says, oh, failing battered women. Hmm. Uh, Simpson was acquitted of murder in 95, 95 criminal case stemming from the brutal killings of, uh, Sim oh yeah, okay, so of, uh, Nicole Simpson, his ex-wife, and her friend, Ron Goldman. Dang, so they're saying that there is, wow, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to legacy, once again. Otherwise, somebody's going to be reading about you on the internet, making passing judgments and without any real information of, you know, how things got, to, you know, but about how things got bad like that. But one thing I will say, the glove did not fit. It's just sad that, you know, you can't control your legacy when you're gone. So you got to really try to do the best while you're here. The best that you can while you're here. But with that being said, hit all the YouTube buttons. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do you miss OJ? Did anybody follow OJ on social media? I remember him being active.
I remember him being active. I don't know, bro. I like to put myself in people's shoes, and it kind of makes me think a lot. So hit all the YouTube buttons. Give me your thoughts on this situation. Oh, man. I'll see you on the next video. I'm gone.